The last time I wore my hair in a top knot bun like this, my hair was below my butt. And now my hair is super short. This, this was a bit of a struggle. But you know what? We're doing it for the Tinkerbell because I'm gonna do the Pixie Hollow Readathon. <laughs> in front of my bookshelf because my bookshelf is a complete mess and I didn't feel like sitting on the floor. Also, I'm so sorry if you can hear people's loud music. I, I have no choice over other people's decisions. Um, but my bookshelf is a mess. So this is the bookshelf where most of my husband's books are. Um, so there's some books in the background. So I fully was not planning on A, really doing this readathon or like taking it seriously because I only saw the announcement video for it like a day or two ago so I was like oh that's not enough time I've already planned out my videos for March like it just doesn't fit my schedule and then I decided that I was gonna do it and I was like well okay I'll just do it on Twitter because you know that's kind of where the other social media platform is that they're doing this on is on Twitter I have a Twitter I can totally just upload a picture of my TBR keep people updated on Twitter and just let it be that and then this morning, I was like, mm, no, I feel like filming, and the only thing that I can film is a TBR for the Pixie Hollow Readathon. So I am doing that. I am filming my P TBR for the Pixie Hollow Readathon. Um, yeah, very last minute, but still super excited about it. Um, so this is hosted by a number of people who have all adopted the identities of the different pixies that we meet, all the different fairies that we meet in the Tinkerbell movies, and yes, I 100% rewatched the movies just like the other day, uh, just for fun. So, no oh well. So it's this readathon is really cool. It's starting today, March 5, and it's going until like March 20, I think. So it's a decently long readathon, which is really kind of nice, and. Uh, there are two paths that you can take. Each path follows the same fairy, but they have two different prompts. I will be taking the trust path. I will not be switching paths. Um, partway through, I'm going to stay on the trust path for the entire time. And so the first fairy that we meet on our journey is Queen Clarion, and for me, the prompt is uh, royalty. So, you know, read something with royalty. And I've decided to do Girl Serpent Thorn because this is about a princess who kind of gets locked up and she can't really go out and see people and then it's her brother's wedding and she has to fight you know she's like is she a demon or is she human and it's, it's a really good like royal turmoil book I also will be using this book to double up on a couple of the prompts because I believe that is allowed but this should be the only book that I'm doubling up with then the second one, we come to Periwinkle, and my prompt for her is read a book featuring sisters. So the book I have chosen, I talked about recently in a different video, which I will link down below. It is my video talking about African literature, the history of it, and where it's at now, with special guest, my husband, Woot Woot, because um, he knows a lot about it. Anyway, so I will be reading Homegoing by Yagyasi, and this features two sisters who are from Ghana, and one marries an Englishman and one is taken as a slave and it follows their journeys as they take these two very different life like plans and so I'm really excited to read this one I think it's gonna bring me to tears it's gonna be so powerful and so moving and it's also pretty short so it's really good for a readathon so there we go Whew. having a top knot bun like this is very freeing because our apartment is roasting hot so I have the windows open, which is why you can hear like all the cars and everyone else's music. But like, if I didn't have the windows open, I would be dying. <laughs> the next one is Silver Mist, and for her, my prompt is to read something featuring an Asian main character or written by an Asian author. So I will be reading Love Boat Taipei, and this is by Abigail Hing Wen, and this is about a girl who loves to dance, and she... But her parents aren't like super supportive of it, like you're not going to make a career off dancing, which is in my opinion perfectly fair but like she really wants to dance so her parents send her back home to Taipei for a summer camp and she kind of has the idea that the summer camp is really going to suck and it's going to be my parents way her parents way of setting her straight but it ends up being different than what she expects 
Next, we get to Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell is where you can switch what track you want to be on, but I'm going to stay on my track, and I am actually going to um, do the group read for this readathon for my Tinkerbell prompt. Um, so, and I'm, the only thing is, is that the Tinkerbell prompt for the trust side, I don't think it'll fit this book very well. It kind of will, but not really, um, versus the book will fit the prompt for the other Tinkerbell. <laughs> so we'll see. But the group read is The Gilded Ones. This is by Namina Forna, and I am really excited to read this. I just picked this up. Like, I have yet to film the book haul for this because I just filmed the book haul, and then all of a sudden I got like a, a couple of more books, and I think more are coming. So I might have to film another book haul pretty soon, which is exciting. But yeah, so I just bought this book. Like I said, it's the group read, but I'm also using it for the Tinkerbell prompt. The prompt I'm supposed to use is Chosen One, and she isn't really like Chosen One. Her blood spills gold rather than red, I believe. So it's, and it's, so she has to be like cast out by society, and she ends up finding a bunch of other girls like her, and they gotta figure out if they're demons or if they're gonna save the world. Um, so she's not like Chosen One, she's like different than others, but not like the Chosen One, but this does feature magic. And so I believe, I think it does, I'm pretty sure it does. I feel like it does. Anyway, I'm reading this for Tinkerbell no matter what. It's also the group read, so. And it's also, I think, the thickest book on this list, so. Who we'll see. <laughs> then the next one is Vidya, I believe, and her prompt for me is an unreliable narrator, and so for that one I will be reading Master of One. And this kind of switches around narrators, which A, in itself can be unreliable, um, but also the first narrator is Rags, who is a thief, and so he's meant to be this kind of unreliable character. So that's how I'm going with it's an unreliable narrator rather than like anything else. So I'm gonna read Master of One. This is where my first uh, double up comes. For Fawn, the prompt is to read a book where she's like, I'm not like other girls. I think she's pretty not like other girls when she has to be locked up because of something about her, whether she like poisons people or people die at her touch or some, something like that. I cannot remember, but she's not like other girls, so that's where I'm doubling up again. And then the next one is Iridessa, and for me that is to read a book uh, written by a black author or with a black main character, and I am super excited about that because I will be reading You Should See Me in a Crown. Yes, I just realized I could double up with Homegoing, but I wanted to read this in February and I didn't, so I'm really hoping I can read it now. Um, so if I don't get to it, then Homegoing does fit the prompts, but I really want to read this. It's about a girl who, um, she is gay or bi. She's interested in girls and her school is not like super down with that. And she learns that you can get a college scholarship through being prom queen. And she, that's kind of like the only way she's going to get to college or she really needs this scholarship. So she needs to run for prom queen, but she can't take her date to prom. And I heard it's really cute and that it's really sweet. So I'm hoping I can fly right through this. So then the last prompt is Rosetta. And here's the thing. So I have this one again because the prompt is to read a book with flowers on the cover pretty pretty flowers this cover is just gorgeous in general so and I'm realizing so I have this book for three prompts so I'm hoping that that's okay that I'm using this book for three prompts but otherwise I have a book for every other prompt so <laughs> it's it's what I have on my physical TBR it's it's what I have so so those are all the books that I'm hoping to read this is kind of my March TBR now I guess but I also have other books that I am wanting to read so that is my TBR for the Pixie Hollow Readathon. I'm super excited to do this, even though it was pretty last minute. I'm literally, I'm just so excited. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, uh, comment down below if you're going to be doing this or which favorite is your, f I can speak, which fairy is your favorite if you have one, if you grew up with Tinkerbell. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every Thursday with apparently the occasional bonus video like today. Um, I won't, I probably won't be vlogging my experience of doing the readathon. I'll probably have this video and then I'll probably have a wrap up 
when the readathon is done giving my thoughts and opinions on all of these books. So stay tuned for that because that will also most likely be a bonus video rather than structured into my Thursday videos. So subscribe, hit the bell so you can get the notification every time I upload, including the bonus videos. Um, until then, though, I hope you guys have a wonderful March and I hope the weather is nice wherever you are. And until I see you guys in the next one, I wish you all a happy reading. Thank you.